Hi everybody and welcome to worksheet for module five, lesson 26. So the top part of our um, worksheet is all practice of multiplying by eight. So it has you counting by eight and then it also has you multiplying by eight. So I'm going to leave that for you. Remember when you're multiplying, you're taking groups, multiple groups. So in this case, you're taking three groups and there's eight in each group. So if you need to create an array, that's another way to do it. I'm also going to remind you with lessons that if you want to stop these at any point, pause them, work on ahead, then come back and check your answers with me. You're welcome to do that. If I'm going too fast, pause it. You can come back to it. So what we're doing today is we're partitioning the number line to show the fractional units. Then we're going to write the equal fractions below. So for number one, we're doing halves. So we're going to be dividing our number line into halves that already gave us holes. So we have one or zero, one, and two. So we're going to divide it in half. So that means we're going to need one line. So we have one chunk on each line. So we have two pieces. So we're going to divide this in half and this in half. And if you know me, I usually like to write in color, which I thought I had started out with, but apparently not. So I divided my into halves. So if you're going to fill out your number line, you're going to start out here. You're going to have zero over two. So that's two halves. Oh, actually, sorry, that's on the line. I don't do that. Maybe. There we go. So this is going to be zero over two. This will be one over two. Two over two. Then we get over here. We have three over two and four over two. So I labeled my number line um, to show the fractional units. And now I'm going to write the equal fractions below. Um, so what it wants to know here, oh, they did this a little differently. Well, I labeled it on the, the, uh, the, the number line because it says partition the number line. So I did that and then I labeled it on there, but I guess it didn't want me to do that. So I did a little extra work today, but that's okay. So zero equals how many halves? How many halves do I have? I have zero halves because this would be zero. And it wants to know if how many halves would I have if I have one? That would be two halves which equals one. And if I come over here to two, how many halves would I have? I'd have four halves. Now, if you look underneath this, we have some teeny tiny little boxes that I'm probably not gonna be able to fit. But this is the same thing that I already did on my number line. So this would be zero over two, two over two, and they already did my four over two for my two. So what we're looking at here is partitioning our number line to show fractional units and then writing the equal fractions below. So for the next one, we're gonna do fifth. So, and they're also going to start us a little differently on this because we're going to start at the two. We're not going to start at the one or the zero. We're going to start at the two. So we're going to need to divide these into five, four pieces. So we have five chunks. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's not very even, so I'm going to re erase it. I'm going to go a little thicker so you guys can see it. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I have five spaces. Still a little bit off, but I'm gonna leave that one, see if we can do better on this one. One, two, three, four. I feel like I did better off of that. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can. Ooh, I love it when I can do this. It's hard, you guys have erasers, I have a hand, but I can also even out my lines a little bit when I do it like this. Awesome. So I partition my number line into fifths. So if you can't remember, you're starting out with two this time. So if you had, when you started at zero, zero would be zero over five, but I don't have a zero. And then if I was starting the next one, one would be five over five, because that would equal one. Now I've got two over five. So I would have, if you have, if you're, you have zero over, zero over five for the first one, five over five for the second, your two fifth, your two whole number would be how many fifths? It would be 10, because you're actually counting by fives. So this would be 10 over five, and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna say, or 10 fifths, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would be 15 fifths. And then if you jump way over to the four, you can count that by fives, or you can see you got zero, five, which is not on our line, but I added it just to remind her, 
10 15 so full would be 20 fifths because and we're dealing with fractions that are greater than one so our numerator is going to be larger than our denominator so for two how um two would equal what over five 10 over five three would equal what over five 15 over five and then four would equal what over five 20 over five or 20 fifths so i labeled them up here i didn't label them down here because they had already done it kind of for us if you want to label your number line as you go along this would be 11 fifths 12 fifths 13 fifths 14 fifths and I let you you can go on on your own for there but just to see what it looks like if you a little confused on where I got those numbers from so 3a Anna has three feet of string draw a number line to represent the total length of her string Anna then cuts her string into pieces of one fourth foot in length partition the number line to show her cuts so this number line is going to go from zero to three because she has three feet so I'm going to do a zero and a three, just so I know my beginning and my end. And then I'm going to do a two and a one, two and one. Um, this is one of those problems that I have a hard time with because I don't give me enough space to work. I like to write bigger, but if you're comfortable with this, you do it however you want to. I'm going to switch out my color. So you saw that I labeled up my whole numbers. Now I'm going to start dividing my string into the sections that Anna does. So it says here that Anna cuts her strings into one quarter foot or one fourth foot in length. So I'm dividing these into fourths. My unit fraction is fourth. So I'm going to need to do three lines. So I have four sections in each line. So one, two, three, and that would be four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four three and four. So it says draw a number line to represent the total length. Anna cuts her strings into one fourth foot in length. Partition the number line to show her cuts. So we did all that for the part A. Part B, how many fourth pieces does she cut together? There's kind of two ways to do this. If you kind of, if you're understanding how we're looking at the whole number as a fraction, you can do it that way, or you can count your pieces. So I'm actually going to do it this way because just it doesn't want to, it wants to know how many pieces we cut all together. So I'm actually going to do a let's do green just so we know what we're talking about. We're going to count it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So how many pieces of ribbon does she have? She cuts her pieces into 12 pieces so each she takes if she counts all of the one fourth pieces she has she'll have 12 of those for her project next up christian works in his shop building birdhouses for four thirds of an hour on monday he works for another two thirds of an hour on tuesday how many hours did he work in all draw a number line to find the answer well i can tell you right now that on Monday, he works four thirds. My numerator is greater. My number on the top is greater than my number on the bottom. So I know it's more than one. So I also know my denominator is three. So I'm gonna be dividing my line in two thirds. I'm actually gonna be doing my line in two different colors because I'm gonna do a Monday on one and uh, in one color and Tuesday on another color. So Christian works in his shop building birdhouses for four thirds of an hour on Monday. So here's my zero. Oop, I'm going to go back to purple. I'm actually going to switch sides for my video. This was a little harder for me to work at because I'm like working this way, but we'll make it work. So four thirds of an hour on Monday. So this is zero and here's one full hour. No, I'm going to do this because that's one full hour and then that's two full hours because four thirds would be greater than one third. So I know that I'm going bigger than one whole. I now know I need to divide my line into thirds. So I'm gonna do two chunks, one, two, that means in three spaces, 
Okay, except for I'm a little off on my spacing, so I'm gonna slide her over a little bit. Oops, that's kind of messy, so I'm gonna erase it. Come over here and go one, one, and then put that there. So I divided it in two thirds. So this would be zero thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds, right here would be four thirds. So that tells me on Monday, he is working um, a little bit over an hour. So that's Monday. He works for another two thirds of an hour on Tuesday. So I'm kind of going to look at this right now and I'm going to say I could do it on Tuesday. He goes one, two. So he's here, but that doesn't help me because what I'm doing here is I'm going to need to add these together. So what I'm actually going to do is this was Mondays. I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to take my red this time so you can see where I started on Tuesday. This is where he stopped on Monday. On Tuesday, he worked another two thirds hour. So I'm going to actually going to say, this is one third and this is two thirds. It fits on my number line. So this would be four thirds plus two thirds. That tells me he works six thirds. Or if you look over here, how many hours does he work? He works two hours. So I want to know how many hours does he work in all? He works how long? Two hours on two, Monday and Tuesday. And make sure you label that with two hours. Because if we were a little off on our math and we needed minutes instead, it would be two hours and so many minutes. But in this case, he works um, exactly two hours worth. So that is our module five lesson 26 worksheet. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will um, talk to you soon.